Welcome back to Lego by the Book. I am Captain Xavier and I'm continuing to build old Star Wars sets. And today we're going to be building set 7110 Land Speeder. I'm reasonably certain I had this one. I'm actually, I'm positive I had this one. Um, I wanted the Jedi. So, uh, let's build it. For minis, we have Obi-Wan, Kenobi, and Luke Skywalker. This was back when they still gave them yellow... Uh, heads and hands. This was before they switched to the flesh tone for whatever reason they decided to do that. And we've got their lightsabers. Lovely. The land speeder. Looks land speeder. It's really, really quite impressive given the parts that existed back then. This was still in the era where they didn't have a lot of specialty parts, so they had to make this out of existing parts. And I think they did a decent job of having it be minifig scale, getting the, the general shape and look of it. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. They stored their weapons behind the seat in proper redneck fashion. And, uh, yeah, it zooms nicely. It doesn't have, um, the round plates on the bottom that would kind of make it look like it was hovering. There was no effort to give you anything to make it look like it was actually off the ground. Nowadays, I feel they would have given you, I don't know, either wheels down there hidden underneath or, you know, bumper plates or something to, to give it a, a hover look. But, uh, it is eminently swooshable. It zooms, zoom, zoom, zoom. And, uh... No, I think the colors are, again, not bad for what existed at the time. There were later ones, of course, that had a lot more detail, but uh, definitely one of the, not one of the worst sets that came out in this era, so I dig it. Let me know if you had it and what you thought of it, and thank you for watching. Yeah.